Now, a local business has moved to a new location. News 41's Deanna O'Donnell again spoke to James Gallagher from Ghetto Mart about his brand new location on Highway 372. Thank you very much, Deanna. Now, a local businessman is giving back to the community again. Tom Saida offered up a new copier to the town of Pahrump free of charge. The town's current copier is in very bad shape, and board members discussed the issue during their last town board meeting at the Bob Road Community Center. Students and teachers are bracing for what could be dramatic budget cuts, and some are turning towards a campaign that puts their stories in the hands of the Nevada legislatures. Well, we've always heard you are what you eat, but scientists now believe that what you eat can affect the way that you think. It's Girl Scout cookie season once again, and News 41's Deanna O'Donnell spoke to Sherry Harmon. In other news, the city of Las Vegas broke ground Monday on its much-anticipated Neon Boneyard. It's a 10-month project that will eventually showcase the city's oldest neon signs. On the outside, the homes look just like any other, but on the inside, they're sophisticated marijuana nurseries. And the U.S. Census Bureau plans to hire thousands of workers in Nevada to help conduct work for the 2010 census. Part two tonight on the issue of Nevada's wild horses. And I'm Ariel Go for News 41. A lawsuit targeting Nye County and local officials has been mentioned for a summary judgment. Well, that remark has got President Obama into some hot water with Nevada and Las Vegas officials. Many of them were so outraged they decided to write letters to the president expressing their dismay. Governor Jib Gibbons wrote that he is stunned that the president could be so thoughtless and heartless. Senator John Enzin spoke out saying that the president failed to grasp the weight that his words carry and that it may end up costing our city millions of dollars. Leaders of Nevada's higher education came together yesterday to prepare for the worst. This after projected $1 billion shortfall in the state budget. The UNLV chancellor said that even cutting $100 million could require every employee to take a 20% pay cut. Other options include laying off 1,300 employees or increasing student fees by up to 50%. As of right now, this remains just preparation, but they fear that their worst case scenario will become a necessity in the not too distant future. Future. Now, in other news, strong allegations against Utilities Inc. have turned into a lawsuit. As you saw right here on News 41 a few weeks ago, many residents of the Willow Creek community were up in arms about the quality of water pumped into the ponds. While the tests have been conducted and the authorities have been called, those mere allegations have now turned into a lawsuit. This is what we have, brown, murky water, dead fish, and animals swimming in polluted water. Time and time and time again, they've been caught putting in... Uh, what appeared to be raw sewage, raw effluent, water that's brown with chunks in it. There's lumps coming out of there. You can call them whatever you want, but I've seen witness lumps coming out of the big pipe. I think it's disgusting what we're having to deal with and live around. Along with the environment, these are the people affected. They all live on Willow Creek Golf Course and say that they're the ones that have to deal with the health hazard and stench on a daily basis. They have for the last two to three years been pumping on a near nightly basis 500,000 gallons or more, as I'm told, of untreated human sewage. Residents of the Willow Creek community filed a class action lawsuit against Utilities, Inc., so we went to talk to them today. The reports of what's in the ponds yeah. uh, have been fairly severe. Um, by permit, they have to put up signs, don't get in the water, this is reuse. But what's going on at the plant is we're in compliance and there is no health threat whatsoever. And this is what people are so upset about. It's dirty, it smells, and even though there are signs posted, they still see children playing in it. And when I see the little kids out here swimming in the pond, and you can't always be monitoring it. You can put up signs and you can try to tell them. And, and as soon as the effluent or the treated water leaves the plant, it is no longer under our control and no longer our responsibility. Responsibility. So for now, Utilities Inc. is claiming their water is up to code and it will continue to flow into the ponds on Willow Creek Golf Course. As for the residents, they say they're still pushing forward with their class action lawsuit. For News 41, I'm Ariel.